Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is May 10th and it's currently 4.48 in the morning. I've been up since 4 because I'm going to be helping my work with bike to work day. We're going to have a station set up in front of my school's library and we're going to be giving people free food and drinks and stuff like that. So I'm just waiting for a lift to the light rail right now because the shuttle doesn't run this early in the morning and I don't want to walk two miles in pitch black darkness. Should be a pretty eventful day. I also have class. I'm registering for my classes and there's a governor's debate at my school tonight. I'm going to go outside and wait for my lift but I will catch up with you all very soon. So I made it to the station, it's 5.05 right now, and the first light rail of the day is in 10 minutes. So I have a little bit of time, but that's probably a good thing. So I'm just sitting here, I actually don't feel as tired as I thought I would. Surprisingly awake for 5.05 in the morning. So I made it to SJSU. It's still pretty dark, but it's actually pretty nice out. So I'm just gonna head over to my office so that we can get the supplies. And then we're gonna come back to the library, which is behind these trees. So I just got to the student union, which is where my office is, but the doors are still locked. So my boss let me into the building. So we're just gonna go head over to the library and maybe I'll record a few clips while I'm there. So it's quite a bit later now. I'm in a library study room once again. I had to leave back to work day a little bit early to go to class, but I think it went really well. It was so awesome to see so many cyclists out, especially that early in the morning. But right now I'm just gonna try to do a little bit of work before my next class. I actually have to finish up an assignment that's due at 1.30 and get it printed. It's a bit later now and I just finished my assignment, so I'm gonna go print it out and head to my next class. So I'm done with all of my classes for the day. I'm back in the library. I'm just in this little alcove thing. This tiredness is really starting to hit me. I honestly think that I could fall asleep right now. But I'm way too scared of getting my stuff stolen because this camera plus everything in my backpack is probably worth about 2k altogether. And so I've just been sitting here doing some relay text for New Sims campaign. The debate doesn't start for another hour and a half or so. And my enrollment appointment to register for my classes is at 520. So I'm going to look at the classes again and see if anything's filled up since I checked it a few hours ago. I'm probably going to head over to the student union a little bit early so that one I can get a good seat and two I can make sure that I'm connected to the Y. Because if you go to SJSU, you know that the classes fill up so quickly. You have to be there to press the button at the exact time, otherwise you might lose your spot. So all the classes that I want are still thankfully available. There's one class that only has three spots left, but if I don't get it, it's not the end of the world. There's a few other sections that have a lot of open spots, but they're on Fridays, which isn't my preferred day to have class. So these are the classes that I'm hoping to take. The yellow one is a political science class about law. The green one is called organizational communication, and it's a requirement for my major. The blue one is also a requirement for my major and it's a writing class. The red mass communications class is about diversity and media and this class is actually being taught by Bob Rucker. Some of you might know him from CNN. He's actually a professor at my school and then this class is another major requirement. It's a PR case studies class and that's it. Those are the classes I'll be taking in the fall. I might be taking this class on Friday but unless all the spots fill up in the next hour I will be taking these classes. It's 16 units in total which is the unit cap for advanced registration. I might add one unit class later if something looks interesting but this is what I'm hoping to sign up for during the advanced registration period. So it's a little bit later now and I've just been responding to some of the relay messages. So when we send the messages, we don't use our full names. We just use our first names or whatever we go by. And obviously I have a fairly common name. I feel like most people know someone with my name. So I sent this guy the usual message saying, my name is Monica, I'm a volunteer for Callum's campaign. The election's coming up, where are you planning on voting for, etc., etc." So basically he thought that I was a Monica that had cheated on him apparently. The only person that I know with his last name is someone that hates me and that I publicly said a lot of negative things about um, back when I was in high school. So I don't know if this guy is related to the person with the same last name that I know. I'm trying to say that I don't know him and that I'm just a volunteer and that if he has any questions about voting or the campaign that he can ask me and he just won't listen to me at all. He thinks that I'm this other Monica. I'm gonna send one more message and if he still doesn't believe me I'm probably just gonna contact one of the volunteer coordinators and ask them what I should do. So the guy that I was just talking about replied and I think he realized that I'm the wrong Monica but hopefully now I can convince him to vote. I just want to say something because I know that some of you might have questions about this. I'm a volunteer on Newsom's campaign. I'm personally gonna be voting for him. But I don't want any of you to feel like you have to vote for him. I really want you all to do your own research 
and figure out which candidate is going to be the best choice for you. I think that there's a lot of good choices. Vera Rosa is a very close second for me. I'll be a lot less worried if both of them make it onto the general because I think that they would both be really great choices for California. So it's almost 5 o'clock now. The debate doesn't start until 5.30. I'm still going to head over to the student union right now because so I want to make sure that I can get good seats and also get on the Wi-Fi. So I guess I'll talk to you all at the debate or after the debate. I'm not sure if they're going to let me film in there or not, but if I'm allowed to film, I'll try to get some good clips for all of you. <laughs> Before we get started, I, I would like to remind everyone that if you have not already registered to vote, to please do so ASAP. And so, as you may know, there are a total of 27 candidates up for the governor of California. We selected the top nine candidates based off news articles and polls. I would like to thank the candidates that took the time to come out to San Jose State University here tonight. Tonight here we have Josh Jones from the Green Party. <laughs> Delane Easton from the Democratic Party. Zoltan Itzvan from the Libertarian Party. <laughs> Gloria Larriva from the Peace and Freedom Party. <laughs> and Nicholas Wildstar from the Libertarian Party. <laughs> the role of government shouldn't be paternal, it should be fraternal. Which is why, as a Libertarian governor, I am making a pledge to the people of California that I will work to minimize the size of government, to minimize its impact on the day-to-day -day lives of we the people. I'm running on a program of saying that it's time that the workers and the poor, the students, the youth, children, seniors, really have a say in society, have the say, because after all, we make everything run. And what I try to do is I try to incorporate libertarian values or values of small government into science and technology platforms. And as a result, I've come up with a bunch of different ideas and uh, policy platforms that I think could really revolutionize how California operates. The reality is that we ought to have universal preschool, mandatory kindergarten, smaller class sizes in our schools, and a chance for every child when they grow up to go to college tuition free as I did. UC Davis cost $82.50 a semester. And we need to redress the water plan. It has, the last time it was updated fully was 1957. We really need to do that. There's a lot of infrastructure we need to work on. We need to build more housing by transit stations. We did this in Union City when I was on the Union City City Council. We used redevelopment money to buy up three big properties, clean them of toxics, and build multi-story affordable housing. And guess what? The people that live there love it. Government does not have the answer. There is no one solution that's going to fix homelessness for everybody because it's an individual issue. Intellectual capital, it raises all votes. And, you know, a friend of mine likes to say that money doesn't trickle down, but information does. And I am for a full and immediate legalization process for the undocumented. We can't constrict people from freely being able to travel from one place to another. We call it immigration, but it's simply tourism. Whether they're coming here momentarily or they're coming here to build a better life for themselves. Yes. And so with that, um, I would like to just thank everybody who took the time to attend, everybody who um, took the time to participate in these um, in this debate. I'll stand up for something. Um, okay, we'll, 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 um, if you would like to join us. Hey guys, uh, my name is Shubham Boyle and I'm actually the youngest candidate for governor. Uh, uh, the reason I wanted to run is basically I wanted to show everyone that in California you see that money and fame dictates who wins the election. So I wanted to run to show you that all you need is courage and all you need is a plan and you can change your environment. <laughs> So I'm finally back home again for being gone for like 16 hours. The debate was really awesome. Obviously, obviously all the candidates didn't show up, but I really enjoyed hearing from some of the lesser known candidates. I'm not going to change my vote. I'm not going to change my vote. It was really interesting to hear different perspectives. I would highly suggest going to debates or candidates forums or any other events where you get to hear candidates speak. I'm extremely tired and I'm probably going to go to sleep really soon. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.